hospital. Uh, Monica. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, please, Monica, do all you can to keep him alive, okay? I'm on my way. I'm coming there now. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, my husband. My husband, please. They need me at the hospital, please. Uh -huh. I, I need to go. Just help me put down the food. It's almost done. Oh, I, sh I, sh I should help you put down the food. Why you go to the hospital? Huh? I save someone's life, then I'll die. See, let me tell you. If you don't go inside and prepare something for me to eat before you leave this house, you wouldn't like what I would do to you. I'm sorry. I have to go now. You're what? Nancy! Nancy, you will not like what will happen to you if you don't come and make food for me. Nancy! See, you're not leaving this house. Nancy, I am telling you. See, don't make me to ask you again. Go in there and prepare something for me to eat before you leave this house. You still want me to, 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 to remind you your duties? Huh? Husband, please. Please just let me go. A man's life is in danger. And he might die if I don't get to the hospital in time. Please, I'm begging you, oh. my husband, please. A man's life is in danger. And you are prioritizing it over me. Your husband did your... Yet you want me to believe that you don't have any man in your life. Another man! Gideon! Just go inside and make something for me to eat. Go inside! Please, I need to save a man's life. I'm sorry, my husband. Oh! Come, come, come back here. You need to save a man's life without saving my life. I'm coming. You're coming. You're coming. Nancy, you're coming. Go and come back. Let me see you. Go and come back into this house. Let me see you. Nancy. Don't be going, you know. Be going, service those men, treat them, do anything you want to do with them. They come back into this house. Let me see. If I won't, if I won't panic, beat you like a mechanic, you know that it is on me. Me, Gideon, I will deal with you. Ah! You will take all my energy, all my blood. You cannot even refill it back. And now you're going to service another person. I'm waiting for you. No, sir. What is going on? Calm down. Calm down, how? What do you mean, calm down? My father is dying. And you're saying calm down. Can you bring your voice down? You have sick patients in there. It's over two hours. My father is sick, nah. Calm down. Okay? Calm down. No, sir. It's fine, right? Uh, sorry, sir. The doctor will come and attend to you. Uh, can I at least go? Just hold go on. In. Hold on, sir. Please. What is wrong with this hospital now? Nah, this one, come. Doctor. Please, give me the good news. My, my father is fine, right? At least I, I can go in to see him. Right? Um. What is going on? What's wrong? We tried our best, but we lost him. I don't understand. L like my father is dead or? Be a man. We lost him. You lost my father. I have to be a man. Nurse, you told me specifically that once I drop 70,000 Naira's deposit, my father will be fine. So please, the doctor did let me ask you a question. Do you have a father? I said, do you have a father? Hey! you have to come. We have other patients. You have other patients? My father was one of those patients! You have other patients? I should... Please get yourself together. Please. Get myself together. On my mind. <laughs> How are you? No, so, you know, I was just asking myself this question. Where's my friend? I've not seen my friend the whole of today. Is something wrong? I was just asking myself. Everything is well, my friend. Everything is perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, but Gideon, it surprises me how a man like you that hates alcohol now living it. 
if you take a call more than the people that have been taking it since. Yeah, because I'm trying to meet up with them. <laughs> <laughs> What's smelling? I'm perceiving something. I think something is on fire, something is burning. Hi, Brother Wedono. Hmm. Is something smelling inside? Um, welcome. Gideon, are you not aware that something is on fire? Gideon. Diamond, so please, please, I'm begging you. Hmm? Don't remind me of what happened in the morning. I don't want to get angry today at all. I don't want it. Really? Yes. The food is completely burnt. Is it your food? Uh, is it your food? In fact, so leave my house. Leave my house. Really? Yes. Brother, now you're, you're, you're telling your friend to leave her house. Why will your friend leave her house? Okay, now tell me now that, 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 that the food is burnt. What will I eat? Me, I'm hungry. Just, just get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. Else you won't like what I will do to you. What's wrong with you? Me, I'm hungry. I said get out me, of my I'm house. Hungry. You don't. What has come over you? What's all this now? You to leave. All of you leave me alone. Just, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. You got my answer, you're telling me that something is. Is it your house? Is it your food? Gideon, you see, you have to calm down. You have to take things easy. What happened? Why did you come to work so late? My husband. He said I must serve him breakfast before coming to work. But Gideon has been so supportive of your career. Why the sudden change of character and attitude? Oh, this man died because of me. I, I just lost a life. You don't have to blame uh, yourself for what happened. After all, today is your off day. You were supposed to be at home taking care of your husband and doing some other things. It's all my fault. It's my fault. If I had come earlier, I believe he wouldn't have died. It's not your fault. Please don't blame yourself. Don't walk yourself up. I don't like this, your mood. Please don't do it. You just lost a life. Don't you get it? It happens sometimes. You can't do all. Please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nancy. Okay. Why not come in? Let me drop you. <laughs> Don't worry, I can. Oh, find come you. on, Doctor Nancy, please. I mean, no harm. Don't worry, okay? I'll worry. Okay. Please come in. Nancy, you do not have to say that, okay? We do not have power over life and death. God chooses who lives or who dies. If I had come a little earlier, that man would have survived. He would have. Nancy, there is no guarantee to that. Alright. Besides, today is supposed to be your day off. Moreover, we're talking about the hospital shut off staff. I know. That's why we need to do all we have to do to save lives. To save lives. I guess you're hungry. We have to get something to eat. I'm fine. I'm not hungry. We have to get something to eat. I'm hungry too. Okay. Dr. Yeka, 
Please just take me home. My head aches. I need to rest, please. Please. I'm talking to you. Jerry! <laughs> bless, hopeless brother. Stupid brother. Just look at what you are doing to yourself. What's the meaning of this? Uh, Nancy! Nancy! Did you just, did you, come back here! Nancy! Did you aside for me? Eh? Come here! Come here! Hey, stupid woman, I'm talking to you. Where do you think you're going to? What is it? Huh? What is your problem? Why did you suddenly become like this? Why? I'm sure you didn't go to shop today. You have been at home drinking yourself to stupor. How, how dare you talk to me in that manner? Huh? Huh? Stupid woman. You are the one that is stupid. A man lost his life today because of your shallow ego. I'm sure you're happy, right? Mm. So the two of us, we should, we should be ashamed of each other. Huh? Shameless woman. Shameless woman. Look at you. A woman that abandoned her husband to one stup, 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 stupid walk. And you're coming here to talk to me. You're not ashamed of yourself, Nancy. You're a stupid woman. Will you leave me alone? What is your problem? I'm... Please leave me alone. Gideon. 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 Nancy, what is it now? Eh? What is it? Why are you disturbing me from my sleep? Why won't I disturb you? Why did you become this heartless? After begging you, you still allow that food to get burnt? What has happened to you? Eh? This is not the, the loving husband I got married to. You can see that stupidity has taken, taken over your brain. Stupid. Very stupid. I believe you know what you're doing. You know what you are doing. There's no problem. Nancy, no problem, no problem.
What are you doing? I'm eating. You are eating? Yes. When your husband has not eaten for the whole of today, you are eating. I have always known that you are wicked and cold hearted. That I have always known. You have the guts to come here, sit down and eat, and your husband has not had anything to eat. Hey. And you're okay with it. Why won't I be okay? It's better I give this food to the pigs than giving it to you. You will not eat it. You're a very heartless woman. You are wicked. Nancy, you're a very wicked woman. And you see this food? Hmm? You not If you allow this food for eh? If you have you will not eat it. You will not eat it. A man died, died under my watch, all because of Gideon. I caused it. I wouldn't have listened to him. I would have just gone straight to the hospital and saved the soul. This man wouldn't have died. He wouldn't have died. Gideon, look at what you have cost me. Just look at it. This is so painful. This is painful. When your husband has decided not to support his own wife for whatever reasons I can't even tell. And now this, and now this, ah oh God. <sighs> Brother, good evening. It is not good. You don't listen. Huh? But, brother, I was only at a Kenneth's place. Uh, you are uh, at Kenneth's place? Is that one your house? Eh? Is that one your house and you're coming by this time? You see, this is your late night job, This late night job, TV. If anything happens to you, Jay, if anything happens to you, do not call my name. Are you hear me? Do not say, brother, get up. Don't call my name. Carry it your head. Use your head and carry it. Nonsense. I'm going to get away with my food in this. What is it? Brother. I believe you know whatever you're doing. But I must be very honest with you. Brother, honestly, your, your attitude towards your wife really changed. Honestly speaking, and... Brother, to tell you the truth, you, you are no longer that same elder brother that I used to look up to. That when I look at you, I'll, I'll be like... When I get married, I would want to be like you. That same elder brother that used to take care of his wife. I mean, the same elder brother that I used to be very proud of. Brother, I don't really know what really happened. Uncle Chidi, did I, uh, I tell you that I don't love my wife anymore? Did I tell you that? Did I come to you to complain about my wife to you as a special advisor on women affairs or married women affairs? Did I come to you? Just get out. Don't, 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 don't get out. I think this is your head. 
This hair that you're keeping is making you not to have sense. One day I'll use your mystic at point. By the time you wake up, it is gone. And then you start having sense. You, you, are, you are proud of me. You are, you are proud of me. You cannot get, be proud of me as I'm talking to you. Eh? You are proud of me. When did you get married? When did you get married? You're proud of Look for a way to feed yourself. You are thinking of how to get married. And start planning how to take care of your wife. My auntie, ready to yes, I'm ready. Um, where were you last night? My auntie, I was at the fence place. You know, I really needed to eat good food. It's what Gideon allowed the one you left on the fire to get burnt. So I really needed an alternative. Um, Chidi, you should know I will definitely prepare something for you to eat. You should know that. Well, that's by the way. Did you see the food I left for you last night? The food I left for you? Yes, I did. I did. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I... um, did you tell Chidi that I don't love you anymore? <laughs> did you tell him that I don't take care of you anymore? Um, Is that what you told him? Gideon. I don't have time for this idle gossip. I'm off to work, okay? Your food is on the dining room. Wait, wait, wait. So I am the one gossiping idly like that? Huh? No, no, that's, I don't understand. Gideon, like I said, I don't have time for this idle gossip. No, 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 I, 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 I don't have work. It is to, I am talking to you. So I don't have work. My work is to gossip, right? Huh? Nancy, I don't have work. Then you go and sit down with my brother. I start telling him things I did not do. You know this, my brother. He's a radio without battery. No antenna, nothing. He will go outside and start telling them what I did not do and what I did. Eh? Then later he will say he's not proud of me. Don't be telling my brother things. I'm telling you. Monica, I'm not sure that man in War 2 will survive. Okay. Yes. Please. Please, let's not lose any hope. His Please. case is becoming so difficult. Mm -mm, we can handle it. Are you sure it's not a spiritual problem? Ah, Dr. Nancy. Good morning, Good morning Doctor. Morning. Um, this one, you look so down. Are you okay? You look like someone from the afterlife. Yes, you don't look so bright. You look as if you did not sleep last night. What happened? Uh, it's just headache. Oh. But I'll be fine. Okay. okay. Oh. She's not fine. I have known Dr. Nancy for too long. And I can tell when she's fine and when she's not. You see, Whatever Dr. It Nancy is. right there, something is definitely wrong with her. Whatever it is that is bothering her, it is really weighing her down. Because she looks like someone that has lost 10 years out of her life. Slimming down every day by oh, day. God. I don't know. I just, I just feel for her. Okay, keep it well now. No, no, you're getting me wrong. I'm with them. I'm with you. Have you seen it? No way. I need the work again. I've been at you and they eat granite. Leave me to you, go fish. I need the work again. Who eat? Who eat? Who eat? Who eat? Tie this thing. Tie it. Hold on, hold on. Useless food. Where is that useless human being? That food that calls himself video. Where is he? You. Do you know you're a very foolish man? You're very, you're a very, very, very stupid human being. I gave you my car to walk on and you, 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 you just messed it up. Despite the fact that people told me you are, you are, you are a very wonderful mechanic, and I gave you my car to walk on. You spoilt everything. Me spoil your car. Uh, car that is already spoiled. Huh? Oh, 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 Mike, calm down. Just calm down, eh? Did I hear you say calm down? 
that I should calm down. For what? Do you know how much I bought that car? Do you know? Honestly, honestly, I don't know. I can't explain it. Gideon's attitude suddenly changed. For no reason. No reason. Um, but have you tried talking to him? Uh, maybe there's a reason. What are you even saying? Listen, no man should maltreat his wife just the way Gideon is doing to Nancy. But he's still her husband. They need to iron things out to find the common ground. Maybe he's battling with something and you will never know until you have a conversation with him. <laughs> I know my husband. I got married to him two years ago. He has never kept any secrets from me. And he has never spoken to you in Hashima, right? I, I am talking and you're still working. Why would I walk? Huh? huh? Why would I walk? White man, I should leave my work and answer you. Look at, look at this man. Oh, you, you, you still have the man to talk back at me. I've been hanged this thing. Will you keep quiet? Ogamai, uh, Ogamai, please, please, I'm sorry for what happened. Eh? Please just go bring the car and I'll fix it myself. I promise you that. I've heard you. I will bring the car for you to fix it. But make sure this human being here does not go anywhere close to my car. I don't want to see him near my car for any reason. One thing you don't know is that uh, I, I, I don't like insult. I don't like someone insulting me. So don't allow this man to come here and insult me. Le, 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 listen, listen. You see, I'm about to talk. I am only keeping quiet. I'm just allowing you to go scot free with this nonsense you just did because of this man. Else, don't worry. Yeah, don't oh, worry, I got mine. No problem. You yourself, eh? Your own, eh? Next time, don't try this thing. Don't just try to, to, to shut me up in public. Don't try it. I don't, I don't like it. I'm a man. Allow me to do my thing. Eh? Allow me to defend myself. No. Am I not man enough? Oh. Don't, don't try this nonsense again. Don't try it next time. No, you call yourself a man. You call yourself a man. If you're a man, why not behave like one? Every time you're doing like a boy. Who is behaving like a boy? You. I better go come and hold this thing. Are you, you tight this thing, my friend? Come here. Since you try to put one thing, you don't even know how to put, yeah. put it in the hole. Well, take this thing, ah! Please find joy for your head. Too much of drinking, Gary. Put it! Gideon, Gideon, what is wrong with you? Do you realize that you've not done any tangible job in this workshop all through today? Rather than sit down and be drinking. Sure, may God have mercy on you. Make sure you administer the drugs to the patient. Okay, I'll do that, Doctor. Hi, Doctor Neka. Are you leaving already? Uh, yes. Please, can I ride with you? Please. But you're not going towards that direction. Oh, please, come off it. I want to pick up my clothes from my tailor. Oh, uh, oh really? Nancy. Ah. Can I drop you off too? Uh, oh, okay. Don't worry, you guys should go ahead. Let me take care of the patient. Bye then. You know, I was. Uh, Thank you so much for the ride. Thank you. Um, but I'll also appreciate it if you can channel your attention towards others. Because as you can see, I am married and I love Nancy, I haven't made advances towards you, have I? <laughs> Dr. Yeka. Well, thanks once again. Would you worry? I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. See Bye. you tomorrow. Bye.
I hope you didn't hear what she said. Oh, please stop that. You don't need to spill it before I know your true intentions. Let's go. Whatever. Nancy, as you are going out, eh, help me drop this thing at uh, Chima's laundry. Hmm? Tell him to wash them all. I'll be using them tomorrow. Oh, um, please, please, my husband. I'm not going that direction. Besides, I'm late. Nancy, what did you just say? Huh? I did not hear you clearly. Say it again. My husband, please, can you give this to Chidi to take it to the laundry? Please, just help me. I'm running late already. Please. You're, you're, you're very stupid. Idiot. I should give it to Chidi to, to, to do what? To take it to Chima's laundry. Eh? Am I married to you or to, to, to Chidi? Eh? What is it? This is something you're supposed to be doing at the backyard. Eh? Washing my coverall, washing everything. Even the white one you bought for me, you have refused to wash it. It has turned to brown. Eh? Now just drop something for me now. You're telling me that I should give it to Chidi to take it to Chima's laundry. Eh? What, what is wrong with you? Take this thing to, to the laundry and then wash it for me. You know, so, sometimes I, I ask myself, eh? How did I how did I manage? No, no, just look at me. How did I manage to get married to, 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 to an idiot like you? Enough, please. It's okay. I'll take I'll take it to the laundry. Can you stop now? So, I, 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 you're still telling me to stop. So you now have the right to, to, to stop me. Huh? As as uh, you you have remote control that you need to control me, isn't it? No, you keep controlling my life. Huh? When you want me to pause, you press it. When you want me to play, you you to move, you, you play. Yes, you are, nobody's controlling you. You're controlling me. I you want to take me. it to the laundry. Then take it to the laundry. Oh, why are you shouting? Oh, you you want to take my life? Huh? You want to take the battery out of my life? Eh, take it, take it, take it, take it. So you have rest of mind. Enough. Take it. It's okay. It's okay. It's, 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 it's not okay. I said I'm going it's already. Okay. Then go, go. Huh? Look at. Every time you wear white, you wear white and black, mix all your uniform. But you cannot even do my own. Huh? And as you're going to give it to him, make sure they wash the color very well. When you're going to collect it, supervise it and make sure that everything is clean. Please. I'm going for my, my apprentice's uh, 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 traditional marriage. He's a Yoruba man. You know these Yoruba people, they like white. And the white has to be sparkling. So make sure you supervise it very well before you bring it to me. Nonsense. Huh? Drama an idiot. You're telling me, Chidi, Chidi, Chidi. Does Chidi sleep in the room with me? Eh? Look at my waist, everything is paying me. When you want it, you, 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 you shake me. But when I want you to do something, you say Chidi. D just try it again. You tell me if Chidi is a gay. Um, please. Uh, please, make sure you wash those clothes, okay? Because my husband will use them tomorrow. Eh... Uh, Doc, you know, I have many clothes to wash. I will, I will try my best. Please do, okay? No problem. When he comes, he will pay you. No, my man. Thank you very much. No okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Take care. Ah. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Dr. Nancy. Why do I always run into you? <laughs> yes? Oh, you're going to church, right? Mm-hmm. Come on in, let's go together. Ah, don't worry. I don't want to stress you. I'll take the tricycle. Nancy. <laughs> Nancy, I am offering you a harmless friendship as a colleague. <laughs> Just feel free, okay? It will be so bad of me leaving you behind. Under this... Oh. <laughs> okay, if you insist. <laughs> I don't 
understand why Dr. Onyeka keeps on denying this. But it's purely obvious that he's in love with Nancy. Eh, 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 eh. That is not love, baby girl. That is lost. I mean, Dr. Onyeka is lost in after Nancy. But what I don't get here is, why will he leave beautiful, sexy ladies like us and be lost in after a married woman, even when he knows that she's married? Gosh! Ew. But you know I'm not dragging him with you or anyone else. <laughs> you know how much I love my husband. I love Gideon so much. You girls know about it, right? <laughs> we know. <laughs> we know that you love your husband so much. But regarding the way he treats you these days, don't you think that a little affection would do you a lot of good? Oh, Juma, cut that crap. What is wrong with you? We all know that you love Dr. Onyeka so much. But you can go and have him. No one is dragging him with you. I know. I know that I love Dr. Onyeka so much. I love him. I love him so much. But he's in love with Nancy. He's not even seeing me at all. Isn't that heartbreaking? Gosh, that is ridiculous. <laughs> then why not open up? Tell him to his face. Tell him how you feel about him. Huh? And you think it's that easy? Do you know how many times I've shown this man green light, red light? What have I not done? <laughs> but it's you he's seeing, not me. Please. Oh, please let it go. You need to tell him, okay? Tell him. Tell him how you feel. It's not a bad one. Yeah. Have it. Yeah. Thank you. Let's eat. Uh, this is actually my favorite. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Enjoy. Woo! <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Hinky, my love. I've been waiting for you all day. You are not serious. I'm very serious. I'm really very serious. I, you know, I told myself that I must wait here until you pass. Wow. Isn't that taking unnecessary risk? What if I didn't come out today? Just like other days, my father will restrict me from going out to do anything. Uh uh. How can you say something like that? Yes, now. I, like, know, I definitely know that you passed through this place. Eh. So it's not my road. It's not your road, but you should pass here on a regular basis. You should have come to my house. It's better I wait for you here than go to that your house. You know how scared your father can be. I know. You know, eh, most times I do ask my father if he's the one that is going to marry all of us. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, I'll we'll always be there for you. Ah, Ekene. Hey, man. Ekene, hey, how are you? Okay, how are you? This one you're passing here today. What's happening? The was, I just felt like going to my grandmother's place. Okay. Chede. Hey, my love. I have to be on my way now before my father comes looking for me. Okay. No problem. Bye bye, my love. I'm not the one chasing you away. Ah, no. Take care. Bye bye, my love. Take care, oh. Gee. Gee, Look here now. <laughs> Can I? Tell yeah. Me of you are not dating. Must I tell you everything? Must I tell you everything that happens in my life? Snitch. You want to snitch? You want to enter? Come and enter inside. More time now, it's more time now. You start going about the whole village looking for who to know, what to, uh, 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 who to look for what's happening in their family. Small thing, small thing, you just see me do now. You're, 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 you're asking me, I, I have to tell you. Where are you going to? That's it. Come here. You know that you're my friend. My love, my husband, my sweetheart. Please, I want us to stop fighting. I want us to stop the nagging, the quarreling, the aggression. Please, let it just stop. Please, let's go back to how we used to be. Have you forgotten? The two love beds of Enwani community. People used to envy us. They envy our love. Have you forgotten so soon? Baby, please, I'm sorry. Whatever it is, just drop it. Please, I'm begging you. Nancy. My love. Can you just go straight to the point? I mean, I don't like this, your uh, 
parables that you're giving. Go straight to the point and stop this beating about the bush. Go straight. Tell me what you want to tell me. She has a point. Your attitude these days has really changed. Even me, your brother, I can't even post our feet. Chidi, you do. Huh? You do put him out in my family affairs. Telling me you're I'm... um Chidi, Chidi, please. Do not get yourself involved, okay? Just go to your room. I'm sorry, but the truth has to be told. Oh, please, please, my love. Chidi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. It's all your fault, though. It's all your fault. It is your fault. Because you feed him three square meals. If you don't feed him, he won't have the guts to be talking to me like that. He's, he's eating well in this house. In my house, my plate, my soup, everything. He's eating. That's why he can talk to me. I don't blame him. I don't. Just, just try it. You don't only, only, only love bed. Love, love chicken. Love, love, love chicken. Please, please forgive me. I want us to stop fighting. Enough of this aggression, please. Just drop it. Please, I'm begging you, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I've offended you, forgive me. I don't want to be continue to be begging and fighting in this house. Please forgive me. It's like a dream, cause we've changed all night, so baby. I remember how we used to be before, how we used to play together. I love each other, now it's no more, now it's clear to me. You are not the man I used to know before. Deep down in my heart, I cry all day. It's not the way we used to be I don't know what is happening to you My love, the mama Okay, me come away It's not the way we used to be I don't know what is happening to you My love, the mama Okay, me come away You push me to the wall, make me look like an outcast. As a nobody, as someone in a crowded place, can someone tell me where have I go wrong? Can someone tell me what did I do? Can someone tell me where have I go wrong? It's not the way we used to be I don't know what is happening to you My love, the mama Oh, give me come and rest It's the way we used to be I don't know what is happening Sorry. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else you want me to do. I have apologized. I begged you. I don't know. My love, just let me be. Let me be. Huh? Nancy, if you touch me again, I'm going to walk you out of this room. What is it now? Huh? I want to sleep. If you don't want to sleep, then go and join our neighbor's children and start crying. In the morning, you come back and sleep. What's your problem?
Stop disturbing me. Stop disturbing me. It's not fair. It's not fair. Are you black before? It's not fair. I don't understand. What do you mean by I disappointed you? How? Why you pretend like you don't understand what I'm talking about? I was the first to profess love to you. And what did you say about it? I said I wasn't ready for any relationship. And I haven't changed my mind over it. <laughs> Why are we even having this conversation? Oh, hold on. <laughs> was it because of what you saw yesterday? Yes, it is. It's written all over you that you're dating him. Despite our family relationship. Family relationship indeed. What nonsense family relationship are you talking about? Let me tell you. Chidi and I are not doing anything. And I can love whosoever my heart finds peace with. What nonsense family relationship are you talking about? See, let me tell you. I don't have time for all this nonsense. Because I have exam to write. Excuse me. Ikechi, you're walking out of me. Ah, Ikechi, why are you disturbed? Why? Ikechi has made it clear to you that both of them are not doing anything. Yet you are bothered. You think she's lying to your what? Jola, she has hundred reasons to lie to me. Now look at it this way. If her father finds out, he's going to skin her alive. You should know that. Just listen to yourself, Ikene. Ikene, listen to yourself. Because we are family friends. You think you are in the right position to date her, right? Listen to me, Ikene. The word love happened to us all. And when it does, we become helpless that we cannot do anything. Jonah, that's your business. I met her first, and I should be the one dating her. Look up, Chidi, she don't come into this picture, please. Ekene, what I'm saying is that Nkechi and Chidi are in love. And I will advise you to let them be, because there's nothing you can do that will make her change her mind. Jonah, are you trying to say that I'm stopping them from loving each other? Be cool. Be cool. I'm begging you. Don't worry, my dear. Everything will definitely be fine. Come in. Come in. That's it. Good day. Good afternoon, doctor. Is there anything you want me to do for you? I was thinking we could do lunch. If you're busy, right? Maybe some other time. Um, I actually. Hey, she's not busy. Hey, uh, you guys can go ahead. I'll see you later tonight. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Get the file of the woman in what says ready, okay? I will attend to it when I come back from lunch. Okay, doctor. Hi! Both of them are actually going out for lunch. Eh? Later now, that one will be saying, I love my husband so much. I can't cheat on him. He's my all and all. This one. Pretenders do the worst. Why? Hmm? I love my husband so much. Yet, she will not allow that young man be. She <laughs> keeps on following him up and down. Ujumwa, what? I think the person you actually should be blaming here is Dr. Onyeka. Besides, 
She's not the one that is flaunting herself all around Dr. Oyeka the way you've been doing. Hey, shut up your mouth. What do you know? Anyways, I don't have a useless time. Rubbish. Why? See, I can I've always believed that. See, I've come to warn you. Stay away from my Inkechi. Ekene, stay away from my Inkechi. See, the next time I see you around my Inkechi, Ekene, what I'll do to you, Ekene, Ekene, your family will not recognize you again. And this whole village, the, this whole village, they'll gather for two of us. Don't talk to me. Jonah, don't, don't ever talk to me. He's your friend, right? Yes. He's yeah. your friend, right? Yes. Then warn him. The next time I see him around my Inkechi, what I'll do to him, what I'll do to him, he's not going to like it. Oh. You, you, you know me now. Ekene, you know me. I started beating you from while we were small. And I promise you, I'm never going to stop. I won't stop if you don't respect yourself. It's better you respect yourself. Oh. It's better you respect yourself, Ekene. Warn him. Now, if you think I, I've forgotten, I've not forgotten, you know. Because next time you threaten my Ikechi with her father or anything in this earth, <laughs> you're, you're going to be my, my witness. Uh, yes, but calm You're down. going to be my witness. So. Of course, but calm down. I'm Biko. Okay. Huh? Let me leave you for now. Hmm? Chid, Biko, yeah, take it easy. Eh? I, I will talk to him. Please. Jonah. Jonah. Jonah! Is it not clear to you that they are dating? Even at that. Ekene, even at that, let me tell you, there is no guarantee that Nkechi will date you because you met her before Chedi. Or maybe because your father and her father are best of friends. You think she will be your girl. No! She had made her choice. And I would advise you to respect that decision. Yvon, you have always not been in support of me. You have always supported Chidi. How did you become my friend? Hey, goodness? stop! Stop, Ekene! What has come over you? What? My problem is that you don't take advice. Juna, am I the one you're talking to in that manner? Yeah. Can I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but at times, if you listen to me, can I? I want the best for you. Eh? Always listen to me. Let her be. Let them be. Eh? Please. Please, I can. Always listen to me. You know, tongues will be wagging behind us right now. Are you scared of Ujua? Scared? Why should I be scared of her? So why do you think that tongues will be wagging because we went out for lunch? <laughs> do you even realize that she loves me? I don't love her. It is you I love. The only issue, uh, the, the only issue I'm having with you is just because you are married. Aside that, you know you are ten times better than you. Thank God you know that I am married. So please shift your attention to Juma. She's still single. <laughs> um, please, Doctor Mika, you have to speed up. You know we are the only two doctors in that hospital, and it's somehow if both of us are outside for too long at the same time. To work today. Why? Nancy, how do you expect me to go to work? 
Hmm? How do you expect me to go to work when the woman I'm living with in the house had already given me bad luck for the day? I don't understand. You don't understand. How did I give you bad luck? Just get out of here. Get out of my sight. Ah. Uh, Gideon, that's too harsh. Why don't you talk to your wife like in that manner? Yes, yes, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Your beauty keep glowing every day. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, how is your wife and child? Uh, they are fine. Oh. Um, uh, I guess you're just coming back, but I'm hungry. If you oh, get me something. That's you not the problem. Let me get you something. All right. <laughs> ah! Hold it. Nancy. So, you wanted to go inside to go and make food for him to eat? Huh? What is going on between the both of you? I'm asking you what is going on. Gideon, what the what? what? Hey, 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 hey. It's not your turn. Hold on. Tell me. What is going on? Are you for real? Yes. Like you are serious. So it's not enough that you hate me for no just cause. You also have the guts to accuse me of infidelity. The, Gideon. Hey, hey, hey. You have no explain. You hey, come here. Come here. You haven't explained to me. You haven't explained to me and you. What are you doing with my wife? I am asking you, what do you have with my wife? I can't believe you're saying Shut this. up! And don't, see, immediately you came in here, the first thing you said, you looked at her from head to toe, and you told my wife that she's radiant. Do you know what that means? That my wife is beautiful. That you're looking at my wife like that. The next thing, you said she should go inside and make food for you to eat. In my own house. Have you asked if I'm eating? Did you ask her, eh, 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 did you give my, your husband food? Did you ask her that? But immediately you told her you're hungry. And you, you, you're going straight to go and prepare food for him to eat. Isn't it? You people know what you have been doing. The both of you, you know what you have been doing. Ah, no, sir. See, don't you just say anything. If you talk again, I swear to God, I'm going to leave this punch on your face. I will leave it on your face. Gideon. Eh, you too. Don't worry. Everyone is not like you. Gideon, I am not like you. And you're not like me. You're not like me, but you're feeding another man. You're feeding somebody I'm giving a job to do. That's what you're doing. That, that, that's what you're, you're, you're doing. That's what you're doing. Eh? You're giving... Gideon, you're becoming too difficult. You're becoming too difficult. Oh, I'm becoming difficult. That you come to my house, the first thing you look is my wife. The second thing you do is to ask for food. See? No, no, so, no, so be careful. Oh. I, I, I will destroy your face. I, I will destroy your face. I'm telling you. Yo, you want to fight me in my house? Jerry. Jerry. Just to clean one shoe, that is what you're wasting time like this. Eh? I hope you know it's all you to rub it. See this sandals, it's very precious. One of my, uh, 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 what do you call it, customers gave it to me. He bought it from abroad. Eh? So oh, clean very well. My love, uh -huh. please, I need some money to get foodstuffs. I don't have money. Chedi, clean it, as I was please, saying. Please, what do you mean you don't have money? Please, I need to get it before going to work. There's no food in the house. Eh? You work, and every month they don't pay you salary. Even if they pay you, eh, nobody says it. Don't you know that you save some money when they pay you? Eh? Until the money comes out from my pocket, you don't have money. Why are you talking this way? Why? You sound as if I have not been supportive in this house. I have. Just that I sent some money to my sick mother. Ah. Yes. Yeah, we, do. we are sick here. You sent some money to your sick mother and you forgot that we to here we are sick. Eh? Don't you know when they pay you salary, you will send some to your sick mother or whoever is sick. Then you use some, uh, some of the money and buy things and put it in the house. Food stops and put it in the house. We're not feeding well. Look at me. Look at Chile. Look at us. See, we're emaciated. Because we're not eating well, that means we are sick. Don't you understand? So when they pay you your monthly salary, what you're supposed to do is send some to the village, keep some for yourself, and then use some and buy food stops and put in this house. So that the people in the house will also be, uh, uh, be okay. Please, can you give me money to stock up this house? There is no food. I don't have money. Brother, if you have money, just give her so that she buy some food stuff. Stop looking for somebody to show that already. Please don't shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. Eh? How dare you put clothes into my family business? How dare you? Eh? 
Look at your mouth and nose like my grand, our, our, our great grandfather they pursued from, from the village. Upon, uh, uh, abandoned property. Uh -huh, you. Uh -huh. What is it? What, what? What is it? I don't have money. You don't have money. I don't have money. You don't have money. I don't have money. Stop opening your eyes for me. Me to open my eye. I don't have. Please, please, please. Don't stand in that mouth. Ah, good morning, Doctor Nancy. White painted sepulchre. Would you want? Would you? Would you? Been a wonderful husband to me. I wonder what I would have done without you. Nothing. <laughs> because there wouldn't be me on mm -hmm. without you. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And that's why I've always wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Same here, baby. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> By the left was six. This no, one was four. No, 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 no. Six, 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 okay, let's play it. No, let's play it again. Six, four. Nancy, you seem to be lost in thought. What is the problem? Would you mind to share? I 
How are you? I'm fine. You're not fine. Your knot is written all over you. But nonetheless, I I got you lunch. Seeing that you're busy, I decided to get the lunch myself. You know, it's always nice to have a good meal after a hectic walk. So this is for you. Thank you. Nancy, Nancy, I know you were married. Yeah. And I need you to also know that marriage is not slavery. From all indications, I have noticed that you, you are not happy in your marriage. Listen, you have every right to take a walk and find peace somewhere else. Do you understand? I'll see you around. Gideon, Gideon, do you know that this shop started going down ever since you started drinking? So what are you trying to say? And also, what are you trying to say? That I am the one that brought cause to my workshop. Is that what you're trying to say? Um, listen, Gideon, you did not directly bring harm to this workshop. But the bitterness in your heart did. Yes, Gideon. You were once the most sought after mechanic engineer in this village. What happened? Tell me. Everybody wish you would be the hand to fix their car. What happened to that man? I have accorded you much respect as my friend because I thought you deserved it. But if you dare insult me again in this hospital, I will make sure you regret doing it. We may be friends, but you see here, I am your superior. Get used to it. Then learn to stick your legs to the confine of your home. Ah! What? Say one more word and I will talk with that slap. What the hell is wrong with you, Jungwa? Jungwa, Moses. Yes, sir. But Jungwa, you overstepping your bounds in this hospital. Be very careful, else you will lose your job. Do you understand? I'm saying, Gideon, Nancy loves you. And she is the best woman you can ever have. Just stop treating her the way you're treating her. You might as well lose her. Nancy. I have my own family to take care of. You too, you have your family to take care of. Hmm? I don't know why you keep interfering in my family business. As a co-husband or what? No, so face your family and your wife business. Let me face my family and my wife business. Eh? I'm begging you, please. Eh? Stop talking about my marriage. Don't bring my marriage into your. Let my marriage not 
always be on your lip. It's not good. Stop it. Leave me on my marriage. Um, Gideon, I am your friend. It will be a shame if I can't guide you. Okay? It should be a shame if I'm not there for you as a friend. See, Gideon, what has come over you? you, you you're destroying yourself and you refuse to tell me what is really eating you up. Thank you. Thank you. Don't blame me. I blame myself. True, I blame myself. Seriously, I do. For bringing you to this workshop. I brought you here just to come and help me. And be working and doing every other thing. But now you're helping me with my family matters. Talking to me about my wife. Very soon you count how many times I'm sleeping with her and when I'm not sleeping with her. Come in. Um, Dr. Nancy, please, can I, can I sit? I, I want to have a word with you. Sit. Thank you. Um, Dr. Nancy, I'm so sorry for everything. I mean, I fail to realize that love is what comes naturally and not for stone. I must say, I was being very stupid and naive. I'm sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I still value our friendship. Juma. I have nothing against you. Absolutely nothing. And I'm so sorry that I hit you. I'm sorry. The truth is, I have been under pressure lately. Serious pressure. I understand. Trust me, I do. Listen. Dr. Nancy, you are a very beautiful and hardworking lady. You don't deserve what your husband is doing to you. No, you don't. Don't you think you need to pay him back in his own coin? What do you mean? I'm tired of your constant nagging and aggression. I'll tell my lawyer to prepare the papers. I want a divorce. Just get ready. No, Auntie Nancy. Auntie Nancy, please, 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 I beg of you. I beg of you with whichever thing you respect. Please, please. You can't do this to my brother, please. Chidi, please. Chidi, I'm sorry, but I have to do this. It's for my happiness, okay? I'm sorry. Brother, you're not saying anything. Please, brother, please. I beg of you, please. You, you know you don't have to let her go, please. Please, brother. I want she has taken her decision. Hmm? The only thing I will do is to respect it, and I will respect it. Um, 
Gideon, if I may ask. Does it mean that this relationship has gotten to a point of no return? Don't you think you can still work something out? Brian, it is tough. Very tough. I have my own share of the blame. Yes, I have my own problem. I won't argue that. But hers is worse. It's worse than mine. Okay, now just take it now. She won't take corrections. When I tell her that this thing she's doing is not right, the next thing she'll say is, I always nag, I keep nagging. Gideon is becoming too aggressive. And he nags a lot. He nags. The worst is, he doesn't see it as being wrong. I am the one who is always wrong. There's nothing I do that is right in his eyes. I am the wrong one here. <laughs> I don't know what I've done. I can't even explain this attitude of his. It's okay. Calm down. Another problem that she has is this. Imagine as I am now. She the wife. She will not take responsibility to do the house chores or to do things she's supposed to do as a wife. Me, the husband, I will do them before I rush out to work. But you knew the nature of her job before you decided to marry her. Yes. I won't argue that. But it is not what... It is now. He is always angry over nothing. Time. Nothing. He scares me. But marriages are not supposed to be like this. Exactly. Marriages are supposed to be filled with love and tenderness. As we're talking right now, eh? As we're talking right now, she's with her friends. I know. Whining and at the same time crying, telling them how bad I am to her. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly, I am tired. I am tired. Calm down. I seriously want out. I want out. But then... I love him. It's okay. Calm down. I love him. Calm down, okay? Put yourself together. Don't get me wrong, girl. I'm not saying I don't love her. I do. But I think divorce is the only option now. <laughs> Remember you vowed at the altar of God, for better for what? Till death do you part. Yes. But marriage is not a bulletproof. It is not. <sighs> Sometimes you will just allow it to scatter. Let everything burn, let it burn. I should go and beg. No, I, I'm not going to beg out. No, 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 I won't. If everything wants to scatter, if it wants to burn, let everything scatter and burn. But do you think... No, 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 don't, 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 just drink your drink. Ujumwa is right. Gideon is no longer deserving of you. Besides, you're still young. And you don't have kids yet. So I suggest you give Dr. Onyeka a chance. Listen to me, Dr. Nancy. No man would love to see his wife with another man. If he doesn't show a sign of jealousy or buckle up to please you, that means he doesn't love you again. He's even becoming more aggressive. And it's since he started taking alcohol. <sighs> well, my problem is cheating on him. Can you imagine? I don't think it would be possible. Uh, because I love him. Oh, please, come off it. What's all this love, love, love? What is your problem, Dr. Nancy? You are still very young and beautiful. Ah, ah. See, life is too short, oh. Enjoy your life now. I believe Dr. Nyeka loves you. And that he's going to make you happy again. Ah! Father! Father, father! Good to see you. Father, come inside. You came, you came, you came to see us. Yes, sir. Ah, I'm missing you. Ah, I'm missing you. Your prayers will help me very well this time around. Thank you so much for today. Thank you for everything. I am glad that you're happy. That's the most paramount thing. You don't even have to thank me. <laughs> yes. But I owe today's success to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Please ensure that you live happily. I will.
I still don't understand why Nasi would tell you that she wants a divorce. What's going on between you two? Uh, well, Father, nothing is going on. Nothing is going on. It is quite obvious. Obvious that this marriage isn't working. And so the best thing for us is just to part ways. You sound resolved. Is there nothing you can do to make your marriage work? Yeah. Or you don't want to see it work? Has it gone past saving? Oh, Father Anthony! Father Anthony, welcome! Asu, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you! Oh my word! Hope you're staying long this time. I would love to, but I can't. I'm here for a program. Oh, really? <laughs> well, it's nice seeing you. <laughs> I would have loved you to stay a bit longer. <sighs> Next time, I promise. You promise? I'll stay. Okay, Father. Welcome once again. Um, oh, so have you had anything? Should I prepare food for you or drink or something? No, 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 no. Gideon uh, told me that you asked for a divorce. Yes, Father. I think it's for the best since we no longer give each other happiness. Is that what you really want? A divorce? Yes, Father. Um, I have tried so hard to make this marriage work, but he kept pushing it down the drain. That is my way. There she goes again, always blaming me, so that eh, everything will be soft on her own side. That is it. If you, you it, had man. been the man I married two years ago, would I have asked for a divorce? You, 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 are, you are an idiot. No, 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 Blaming everything on me. She's not blaming herself, oh. It is me. The whole problem is on Gideon. Ah, you're, you're a pastor, you're, 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 you're a man of God, and this you see through. So see through her heart. And you want There's to no point it. shouting. There's no point shouting, just squat it. I'm shouting. Yeah. You have 21 days to sign this. 21 days. Take it. 21 days is too much, nah. Take it 21 easy. 21 days is too much. Just see. I will sign it, I will sign it. Before you wake up, you will see the result. Why, why do I wake up? Okay. Why? That's too far. Sign it now. Sign it now. Fella, no. just give me, give me, give me, let me sign it. You're asking for that. Oh, 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 There's a problem. I'll, I'll call you back. Yeah, sure, I will. Okay. Who are you? Good afternoon, ma. I'm in Kechi. I'm here to see Chedi. Is he in? He's not. Hope there is no problem. No, ma, there is no problem. Are you sure? Yes, ma. Oh, oh here he is. You're sure there's no problem? Yes, ma, there is no problem. Okay. Good afternoon. Kitty, you didn't tell me you'd be coming over to the house. Why have you not been picking your call? Come here. I'm coming. Hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem. What is actually happening to your brother Gideon? His shop is gradually going down day by day. Huh? People no longer go to his mechanic shop because they fear he will spoil their car for them. Chidi, that's true. There was a period of time your brother was the best automobile mechanic in this region. Yes! People travel from far and wide just to fix their cars. What's going on? But these days, things are no longer the same. 
बाद टू से द ट्रूथ आई डोंट इवन नो आई डोंट इवन नो माई ब्रदर कीप्स गोइंग डाउन डे बाय डे एंड इट रियली बोदर्स मी अ लॉट and i believe whatsoever thing it is that is bothering him it's really affecting his his marriage yeah okay now as i speak to you guys now his lovely wife nancy has told him that uh, 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 she she needs a divorce it's really not fair sorry my bad wait chid what did you just say now that's the truth me too you mean your brother is about to Lose his fine and respectful wife, just like that. We oui, men, we oui, men. Ah, <sighs> oh, my brother. What about that? <sighs> your most beautiful home, KJ. Are you guys still there? Ekene, Ekene. You want to know what I'll do, right? Jonah, you're here, right? You're here and you're seeing him talk all this nonsense from his mouth. Let me tell you, Ekene. It seems like you're forgotten. <laughs> that in Kechi you're talking about she's the bone of my bone she's the flesh of my flesh and if you think we will separate you really failed woefully i pity you Chidi. because she's going to stay with me chidi tshikwa yekeo hold that tight marry her akade ama agame chi yeke ekene don't not mind again. you not again Why did you show from Kechi here again? Huh? Please, I don't want it. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of Almighty. This is the care of the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my god and I am trusting in him for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from the fatal plague Thank you Lord Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh Lord, do something new in my life. I have peace of mind. Oh, I found Christ in me. That's your food. I'm off to work. No, wait, I don't understand. Hold on. You served you this food. Where is my own food? Sign the divorce papers, and please do it fast. Before we talk. Uh, we'll... When you told him, he didn't say any other thing to you. Yes, and that's unlike him. Hey, hold on. 
And you served him the divorce papers yesterday, right? Yes. Oh, is that the reason he didn't pick a quarrel with me? No, it wasn't the divorce papers that made me silence this morning. Not the divorce papers. Really? What then could make the almighty Gideon not to roast or tongue lash Nancy for saying that to you? True. Self-control. Uh, uh, uh. And what happened to the old Gideon? Because I'm seeing a different person. I found him. Who? I found Christ. And the errors of my ways were laid before me. I thought I was doing the right thing, no. I don't know that I was broken my home. Are you trying to say you are now a born again? Ever since I found Christ, my heart has no peace. That's good. That's really good. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me help you. All right. Yeah. Do um, things right. Put God first into. We have to be heading to my place. Remember you promised to come and know where I stay? Yes, I did, but it won't be now. You know I'm still married to Gideon. But you have given him the, 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 the divorce papers and he's going to sign it very soon. Then let's wait till he signs it. See, I don't want to have the guilt of cheating on my husband. Please, let's allow things flow the right way. It's all right. I am. I am going to be patient because I love you. <laughs> and you know I love you too, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for your patience. You're welcome. So can I take you home now? No, oh, it's getting very late. Um, take me to the hospital. Why? I have a patient to attend to before going home. You can get me um, two wine glasses, okay? Two. Two. Also. And how was the day? How was the day? Meaning what? When did you start caring? When I'm only here, I, I, I just want. I am a wife. Listen to me. I don't care whatever useless game you are trying to play. Just make sure you sign those divorce papers before they expire. Else I will take legal actions against you. I, I, I just wanted to have dinner with my wife. With your wife? You. Your wife? You. I'm sorry, it's already too late. Just make sure you sign those papers. I am not joking, I'm not smiling with you. Get your green pen, red pen, black pen. You've been looking for it, right? You better get it and sign it. Are you hearing me? I have, bl I have a black pen now. I can't sign with a black pen. And, uh, I, 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 I don't want to sign anymore. Really? It's now that you know you have to fight for your marriage. Now that you know she has made up her mind. When I was telling you that time, and you are telling me, uh, special advisor to the, to the government, special advisor to the marriage. See your two cups. This is your wine. Drink your wine alone. Eat your food alone. 
If you need any other thing, I'll go inside my room. I'm chidi. Yes, brother. Do you still need any other thing? Why did I give you this nika? Because I'm your younger brother. And that is why you're supposed to support me. So we stayed at Nika. Chidi, I'm off to work. Take good care of you, okay? Okay, bye. Nancy, Nancy, please let me drop you off at work. Please. It's more than eight months I lost my car to hoodlums. And since then, you have never for once offered me a ride. So why now? I want to understand. Why now? Oh, you think being nice to me will make me change my mind about the divorce? Ah, no, no, no. It's not about the papers. I am still going to sign it. But even until the last day, you still remain my wife. Fine. Yeah, even though we're going to split. But at least let us split with good and wonderful memories before we split. Please, let me drop you off at work. I have peace of mind. Oh, I found Christ in me. Thank you. When you're done for today, just call me. I'll come and pick you. Hmm? Okay. If okay. you need um, anything for lunch, just let me know. I'll bring it for you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a lovely day. I wish you all the best today. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Sorry, I was silent. Can you just call me? Thank you, thank you. No, 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 no
Tô doando. Tô doando, tô doando. Tô doando, tô doando. Tô doando, Have you seen the blessings that comes with peace of mind? You cannot satisfy our customers and they are happy. We are happy too. <laughs> Our business is coming back. Yes, I give God all the praise. I, I praise Him. I only wish my He can make my marriage new again. I mean, I look at my wife now. I now realize the fool I have been. You mean she has not changed her mind about the divorce? Despite the fact that you've turned a new person. Nancy does not love me like she used to. Well, I... I don't blame her. But it is written all over in her eyes, you will see it. She doesn't love me like she used to. Gideon. You are still her husband. That gives you a huge advantage. Keep showing love to her. I believe one day she will reciprocate. I don't know. That's exactly what I'm doing. Let's finish the engine. Give me the. Ah, okay. You promised me that you're going to divorce him. Yet you're still together. I thought you said you love me. You said you love me and you. He is still my husband. There's no way I would have turned him down when he offered to bring me to work today. He has changed. No, no, he has not changed! He has not changed! So you are beginning to develop feelings for him again. Does my emotion mean nothing to you? Don't you get it? Nancy, I love you and you know it. I say, I've been there for you. I stood by you when he cast you away. Why are you finding it so difficult to understand that, that I love you? No. She, you, you want, you, you want him back in your life again? No, no, not at all. I, I just want to think. Please. Yes, it's true you've been a shoulder to cry on. You've been there for me. But please, can I think? Just give me a chance to think. You don't have to think! You don't! Nancy, you, you don't have to think! Nancy, please. You know I love you. I am sorry I'm doing this right. Um, good morning, good afternoon. S sorry, I... I was actually going to see Dr. Nancy. I'm sorry. Hi, Dr. Nancy. Nancy, I know that I have craved for Dr. Onyeka and hated on you just because of his affection towards you. But right now, I'm no longer interested. All I can say to you now is to follow your heart. That's the problem. I am confused. I am confused because my husband has changed. Really? Yes. He now showers me with lots of love and care. 
He takes good care of me now. I don't even know what to do. Hold on. And you have already started developing feeling for Dr. Onyeka, right? Exactly. And if I go back to my husband, Dr. Onyeka will not be happy. But then, I want my marriage back. I want to make it work. Honestly. Calm down, Dr. Nancy. All I can say to you right now is to give yourself a break. Okay? Take a long breath and choose amongst them on who to settle for. Okay? Why did you call me? <clears throat> oh, I was thinking that um, you don't need to stress yourself cooking in the house. I wanted them um, to take you and Chide out. You wanted us? I don't get it. You wanted us to go out and eat like you and I. Us? As what? My husband? Or what? Um, Nancy, the 21 days has not elapsed. Okay, so that makes it... Um, Oh, that is to say that you still remain my wife. So <laughs> I just wanted us to go out and eat. <laughs> you must be very stupid to think that I will fall for this, your stupid, useless trick. You know why? I no longer love you. The love I have for you died long ago. So get that. Read my lips. I no longer love you. I know. And I am to be blamed for everything. I was... I was a fool. But now that I know Christ, I know better. <laughs> well, it's quite unfortunate. I no longer love you, like I said. Hope you got it. I've seen the changes in me. And I believe she too has seen the changes as well. Just give us some little time to clear her mind. And I believe she would come back to you. I believe so. Come. <coughs> in Jesus' name. Amen. Father Lord God, we thank you for it. You can come pick me now. Okay.
Where are you coming from? Hey, can someone tell this man that I am no longer that Nancy he used to know? Can someone tell him? Nancy, is this the path you want to follow? Is this the kind of life you want for yourself? My life, my choice, you better stay out of it. Sign the paper and save yourself this drama. Nonsense. God. God, please touch our hearts. Um, so, what is it? Auntie, I know you love my brother very much. And I know he means so much to you. But his attitude these days has forced you into hating him. But I must really tell you, he's now a changed man. And it's not because you served him a divorce letter, no. It's because he has found Christ. Yes, and if you could recall, he no longer takes alcohol again. Even the ones in the fridge, he has taken all of them away. <laughs> Chidi, what yes, exactly auntie. are you trying to say? Auntie, I'm saying if it's possible, please give him a second chance. Everyone deserves a second chance, please. I want us to go back to that old family, old happy family we used to be before. Please. It's clear to me he sent you to tell me this. No, he didn't send me, auntie. You know I never supported him when, when he was maltreating you. If it were to be then, I would have told you to divorce him. He didn't send me. It's just that I want us to go back to that same old happy family that I used to be very proud of. Please. Please, I want you to reconsider your 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 plans please i'm almost late for work as you can see so after you but auntie promise me you will reconsider your plans please. after you I have come to pick you home. To take who home? My wife. Listen, young man, are you are you blind that you can't read the handwriting on the wall? Just understand it and take a walk for good. Why are you talking now? Just save yourself the last pride and sign the divorce papers. May God bless and forgive you. If I were you, I wouldn't go after a married woman. Even the Bible said it. If you speak to me in that manner again, you will not like what I will do to you. Will you just stop it? Will you stop? Then tell this idiot to, to, to mind his words. Don't you embarrass me this way? I am not embarrassing you. I'm telling him the fact. I am going to be the one to take you home, whether he likes it or not. So please, accord me that respect for once, okay? See you tomorrow. Will you just come back? What is this? I am still talking. What's the meaning of this? What is your problem? Do you want to push me down? Nancy, did you just speak to me in that Just stop it! If your enemy is slappy here, turn this other please. Let them slap you. Sorry for for everything I've done to you. Please find the heart to forgive me. I know I wronged you badly, and I'm 
I'm sorry. Just give me a second chance. Give me that second chance to prove everything that you mean to me. Please. I'm sorry. Honestly, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know exactly what to say. What happened? Why did you change? Why did you change from the good person you used to be? Why? I don't know. You don't know? I, I actually don't know what came over me. I'm a fool. But now that I have found Lord Jesus Christ, I now know better. And I promise I don't want to go back to my old ways anymore. I want to love and care for you as a wife. I was just feeling you were, you were getting too tall over me. And the, the way you were sending me on errands, I just, I just felt I was becoming too weak as a man. So all the things I was doing, I was only trying to stand tall to take my position as a man of the house. I didn't know I was fooling myself. I didn't know I was losing my wife. Please. I'm sorry for everything. And I don't want to go back to those old ways anymore. Give me a chance. Forgive me. And let me prove to you that I'm now in your being. And you've been. Auntie, please forgive me. Please forgive my brother. For the sake of God. I believe he's, he's truly a changed man now. Please. I want us to go back to that old family we used to be. That very happy family, please. <sighs> you got it all wrong. You were totally wrong. There's no way I will stand tall over you. You are my husband. I will never disrespect you. No matter the kind of money I have. You will always be the head of this family. I love you so much, Gideon. Well, if God can forgive us, who am I? Who am I not to forgive you? I have forgiven you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. God Almighty bless this one. Amen! <laughs> May God Almighty bless our marriage. Amen! Amen. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Amen! Amen. <laughs> and we're still carrying out our grand, great grandfather's No! <laughs> you have started again! <laughs> Please now, eh? Honestly, my life will be incomplete without you. And you know it. That's a lie. Your life is perfect without me. Oh. Onyeka, please. Go get a life and leave me alone. Please now. 
If my husband sees us like this, he will not like it. Your husband? Yes. You still talk about him. I came to pick you home. Have you clothes for the day? Yes, my lord. So, uh, Dr. Moyeka, right? Good, good day. This is my wife. My lovely wife. I love my wife so much and she loves me too. See, Dr. Moyeka, if you're looking for um, a spouse, you're looking for a girlfriend or a lady friend, I think we have enough of them out there for you to go after. As you can see, she's been taken. So you can as well look for a girlfriend, a spouse, a woman friend, or whatever. Like I said, you can go outside and look for. And for your advice, when you see that lucky woman, hold her, hold her very tight, and always make sure you have God in your marriage, okay? Put God first, and every other thing will follow. Believe in the word of God, so you can have peace, as I have found peace. Dr. Yeka. I was dreaming inside the ocean, I need to find back what belongs to me. I have peace of mind. 